Howdy folks. In this video we're going to talk about percentiles. Percentiles refer quite simply to the percent of all the data below a certain data point. So if you scored for example 167 on the GRE quant test, say that puts you in the 96th percentile sometimes scores are reported that way on these standardized tests that means 96 percent of all the other test takers scored below your 167. okay so it's the percent below a certain score and that's all there is to it now that means no one could ever be in the 100th percentile or no data point could be in the 100th percentile because that would say your score is above 100% of all scores, but your score is included in all the scores. So you can't be in the 100th percentile because then you'd have to be above your own score. <laughs> so let's look at another example of finding the percentile of a data point. Say these 10 numbers were in our data set and you wanted to know the percentile of, let's say, a score of 70, if these were test scores, we could basically say what percentile is 70. Well, let's write the formula for percentile, which I said a few seconds ago. Percentile is the number of values below a certain value. over the total number of values. Now that's the fraction it would be in, but then we have to multiply by 100, or that's the decimal, in order to get the percentage. So, let's apply that here for 70. How many values are below 70? We're not including the 70. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Six values are below. How many total values are in this set? Well, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 6 out of 10 times 100. And we get 0.6 times 100, which is 60. So 70 is in the 60th percentile. 60th percentile. So that's all there is to it. Now we said that you can never be in the 100th percentile. The maximum percentile is gonna be 99. And the minimum, could you be in the zero percentile? Yeah, actually you could be in the zero percentile. In the example we're looking at here, 40 is in the zero percentile because what number of values are below 40? zero. So if we use this formula, we'd have zero or below 40 out of a total of 10 times 100, and we get zero times 100, or a zero percentile. So that's possible. All right, let's look at a possible test question that might try to trick you. So we had a question that said, David took a final term in which he scored 100 out of 100. And then the question is, what's greater, the percentile of David's score or 100? Now, we might be tempted to say that they are equal, since he scored a 100. But remember that the maximum amount for a percentile is 99. You cannot be higher than 100% of the people, because you are part of the people. So... Quantity B is always going to be higher than any percentile, whether that score was 100 or anything else. Okay, so the answer is B. Quantity B will be greater. So the definition of percentile is the percentage of values in a data set less than a given value. All right, see you in the next video.